Wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? So what you're doing is like what a lot of people do. And it's just like, it's gonna be where you're strongest, right? So you're gonna, you're laying flat and you're getting wide, you're getting good depth in your press, but it's yeah. coming around here. Yeah. So everything is me opening to like create pull. Yeah. And then everything is me just driving up to a point, right? Whereas I want you to think now more of like you're pressing as shoving. So I wanna get underneath handles and I wanna be here and I wanna be locked into back here. So me locking into back and setting shoulders down and being palm pressure forces my head up because I can't be here. So I'm here just locked into my back. So when I shove out, I'm gonna rock through. I'm gonna drive up through. Are you always tucking your elbows in slightly? Yep, so I'm driving. I'm staying underneath my bar or underneath yep. the handle on this and I'm rocking up through. So it's not an explosion, it's a fall away. So I'm falling away from my press and extending. So at the Are top, I'm pinned. you driving your head back? Yeah, but the thing is my, my contraction of my back is what's keeping my head forward. Yeah. I'm not just going like this. So I'm rocking through, right? I think that every press you do is you falling away from the press, not going with it. So there you go. You tuck into lat here, rock that head, squeeze through palm. Yeah. So slowly, slowly grab that pec. Little tempo out of the bottom. Yeah. Pin that chin down and shove that head back. Look here. End up looking here at the bottom. Look down. Head back. Head back and ball. Yeah. Now rock up. Squeeze the back. Fire. Yeah. Keep eyes here. Bury that chin and shove out. Yeah. Slam that head back for me. Slam. Yeah. Two. Yeah. One more. Palm and peck. So you're gonna, this is different than most fly machines in the sense that it's like going down. Yeah. So I'm gonna cap, I'm gonna collapse here and I'm gonna do the same positioning I am on the bench. Just I'm out wider on my palm, right? So I'm locked into my back. I'm almost leaning on my hands right now. I'm not trying to sit up tall and hold my hands here. I'm leaning on them almost like a dip. So when I go to come through, I'm up through. And I'm up through. So that chest rocks down, rocks again, up. Again, palms open. So it's, again, it's like, I'm trying to most muscular everything, right? Your hands up a tiny bit. And keep shoulders away from the pass no, So lay back there, relax. Just have that weight leaning on those flat palms that are relaxed. So bring that one forward to a little bit now. Good, feel that, so feel that rock up. Yep. And then sink through. So don't go with it. When you go down, so lean forward here, you're gonna hold there. You're gonna lift up, swing under. So go, lift up, swing. Swing, swing your hands, swing down. There you go. Open, relax over, lift up through. Yeah, use those palms, scoop those pecs. They shouldn't touch if you're doing it right. Yeah, let it open on that hand. Hand moves first. Yeah, lift that chest. There you go. I think that rib cage lifts up. Lift up, fire. Good, relax it down now. Lift those hands, lift rib cage. Yeah, man. Just flexing through, slide those hands smooth. Like you're slapping the handle. There you go. So relax down, lift up, rib cage. Two more. Lift up, pop up, one, palm. Lift up, good man, good. I did like uh, something called PCA muscle model in like 2018, the two or three shows then, but other than that, it's just for the Dubai beach and okay. yeah. Awesome. Uh, Mike, I got introduced from a good friend of mine, Jordan, who I know previously and I know from Dubai, who now keeps calling me the Duke of Dubai, which seems to be sticking with people in Canada. So uh, an English person who's recently moved to Canada, so and now currently in Toronto, and I feel very, very cold. And my glorious suntan's fading very quickly as well. <clears throat> really think that when I'm tucking in here, so if I'm flared and I'm open now, I want to feel like I'm squeezing into laps. So when we think about trying to pull my laps yeah, through so it. I want to lock. Like, I want to yeah. think that my elbow's here, and then my elbow and my lat are locked. So I'm pushing on that straight line. It's a great tension Slide up a little higher, yeah. So I'm palm pressure, elbow locked in. Head up right now. Squeeze that back hard together so this lifts up. There you go, launch back. <laughs> Keep that line. Squeeze, fire back. Yeah, you're gonna push nipple line. Mm -hmm. Don't extend, just palm. Yeah, open up. Yeah, I'm gonna rock that head, squeeze that back, fire. Mm -hmm. Squeeze back, fire. One, palm, fire. Good man, good. If I'm looser in my palm and I'm able to rock out of this area here, yeah. I can lift my body and swing in. So I don't want those to touch. Just rock around and flex pec in there. Yep. Right when that pec grabs maximally, from there, open up again, relax. Lift up. 
Yeah, slower out of the top. Yeah, move through that palm smooth. Yeah, relax, lift up. One more, really lift up, lift up. Good man, good. Very different like, angle, <laughs> like top to bottom. That's nice. Gives like good projection in your chest, you know what I mean? Forces the chest forward. So it's almost like you're, when you're hitting most musculars or things like this, you're scooping and projecting, right? A lot of people have wide chest, they don't have like dense chest. Take off the chest, yeah, so yeah. I can already feel my off chest there. So yeah. like... so that's why like for the fuller, a fuller range of pressing and understanding that I'm driving off my palm is going to throw that shoulder back to get that power out of it so that I'm able to flex through and send contraction across and up. So depending where I bury my neck, I can get up into higher too, right? It just depends on how you're pressing. So you can hit, like we're doing a flat, this is like a slight, slight incline, but you're getting upper. So you don't need to do this hyper incline benches super, super steep, yeah. to get like your fucking, to get your upper chest. Like it's remedial shit to think that. Hmm? How can you go open palm rather than trying? Well, it's just to get you to understand that I want this positioning. It's forcing you to but, stack but the if weight. I, if we get you to do this, it's going to turn into that real quick. Right? So if I keep you feeling flat underneath it, especially on that where the bar can't roll out of your hand and hurt you. So it's like, I think that this meat of this palm yep. is what's driving through and around. So that palm is coming straight down and in there. So lift that chest up. Yeah, don't over flex. Just let that hand do the work. Yeah, we're just trying to get pecked. So lift up, sweet palms. Let's leave this back and relax. Palm. You got it. Bring you into it. Two more. Big chest. Fall back. One more. Fall back in the seat. Good. Stay there. Good. We're going to go up high now. Yep. Yeah. We're going to get up. Up a little bit here. I got the weight, so you can relax. Wait up. up. Hands up here. There you go. Feel this open more. You're going to use that meat of that palm. Throw your head back and come around high. So leave the shoulder relaxed. There you go. So opposite. When it's back, heads forward, head back. There you go. Relax, stretch, head back. We got one more. Head back. One more like that. Sweep the palm. Good, man. Good. What up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you haven't trained for five days, it kicks in quick. I was getting fucking cramped in my calves and that. That's when you know everything's fighting when you're trying to press with your calves. If I'm here and I'm retracted in my back, yeah. my weight's on my hands. I can yeah. be anywhere I want. Because I'm just leaning on those hands, but I'm going to lock down and sit that, my weight back into that bench. So I'm pushing myself back into that bench. There's nothing Drop forward. Only my hands are just holding this bar from flocking, flying back, right? So when I go to move my heads forward, I'm going to drive up through things. You, so I don't need to rock my head. Yeah, I'm consciously push pushing back. my back, okay. pushing myself back because I'm driving palm, which will set my shoulder. So, so I don't do this. Pad, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I don't do this to come around. I do that to come around. So I catch palm, I slap palm. So I'm always on that meat of that palm. It never turns in. It just stays flat. That's right. This where you can control on that shoulder. Just rock out of that range and slide that palm. Yeah, real smooth. Yeah, leave that elbow a little bent. Are you almost trying to push through your no. pinkies? Yeah. You're palm. trying to scoop a bit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. There you go. We're just trying to pick that pack up, sit up tall. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Leave that elbow bent a bit. Catch the chest, push the palm. That elbow flexion will pull on that chest more than the hands going out. Yep. Yeah. See so yeah, when you get way above, you can you can do this roll under thing. I'll come underneath. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you get tucked underneath everything. See underneath you. Yeah. Head under, head forward. Relax these rolls back. Good. Leave that head just where it feels comfortable. Off the bench. Palm flat. Fall away. <laughs> Set into there. Rock that. You're gonna end up moving up that way a bit on the press. Body will move up as you press a little bit. There you go. Relax. Rock up. <laughs> underneath that handle. Yep. Control out of the bottom, palm pressure. Yeah, come on. Push. Throw that head back. Head back hard. Good, now. Good man. This Atlantis flies nice because the back pad's so small. Yeah, it's so tiny. You can like bend around it. Yeah, yeah. People don't seem to understand that though, because they're like, <laughs> why, everyone, everyone why is it so small? Everyone's <laughs> lifting their arms. So your fucking like... shoulders can move, man. <laughs> like, you can't even retract on that fucking hammer. There's other people you see them dragging ass through workouts. It's like, fuck man, like, not to say you need to be doing supersets, drop sets, all this stuff. But if you're working out with pace, even doing straight sets, you'll notice you'd be like, fuck man, like I'm, 
getting pumped way faster than that motherfucker. Yeah. I'm getting working way harder than him, right? Taking minute breaks, two minute breaks. It's like that's why I can't really powerlifting because if I had to say a five minute break, I'd lose interest. I'd yeah. Be like, <laughs> yeah. I think that we're locked into mid back here. So Almost like pull your low traps right about there. Yeah. So I'm rocking through there. So I'm opening on here with elbows. Palm. Don't overreach. Just think elbow sinks. Push palm. So when it goes forward, relax your head down. Relax your head forward. I got the weight. Launch back. Yeah, palm underneath it. Keep that elbow down. I'm with you. Elbow down. Good. Down. Good man. So again, we're locked into lat and like mid, mid upper yeah. back. Yeah. Relax here. Pressure here now already. Pushing this back. Now we just launch out. Yeah. Underneath. Don't bring that shoulder with it. Yeah. You're going to naturally move up that way. Push the palm. <coughs> yeah. Move up the bench when you press. Very good. <coughs> Two. Rock up. One, I'm with you. <coughs> Breathe out. Head back. Good down. Good man. Actually, it's made a big difference. I think I do that a lot more on that left side. I want to rotate out. Yeah, yeah. Which is why that side is slightly undeveloped. Yeah. You're doing good though. It's hard to get used to that tucking in feeling, right? Especially because it's like, at a certain point, it's, you're powerless. So you're like, fuck, man. Like, it's either going up or right back down, right? So, and whereas if you're here, we can muscle, we can fucking like, oh my in. God, like get that thing out of there, right? But in bodybuilding, it's really not about that. We're encouraged to fail. So. How, how inefficient can you make a movement? <laughs> yeah, exactly. A lot of people kick and they set here. Right, so they set here and they get this thing when they open up wide and they press. So yeah, they're getting depth, but they're just really getting opening. Because I can't even contract my back here. Yeah. I'm just flat on the bench wide open. So the idea is that we want you to start in this position that we're starting in everything, right? So almost have everything locked in yeah, here so first. so I'm locked in here, shoulders tucked down and my palms in. So when I go to kick, all I'm doing is just rocking here and I can stay here as soon as I open up, it sets into where I want. So I'm already pulled across my chest and stiff on my palms, right? My head's up because I, I just can't put it anywhere. Wherever it floats is where it's stuck, right? So when I go to move, it's the same thing. I'm pushing out, catching, And you're actively thinking out. about driving your head back. As you yeah, so through. I'm literally falling away from my press and extending my hands out, boom. So when I come down, I'm opening up, settling, boom. So I'm trying to rock through things, right? Start those dumbbells tight, turn those wrists in where they're gonna be, so arch hard here. This is tucked down, chin down. You just think you're gonna roll back with that and let this roll open and set into this lat here a bit. So sure, coming, so heads up. Elbows tough a little bit. Yeah, but there's still tension across. Wherever you feel that line of tension across the pec, like a bar, rock that head back, squeeze to the middle. So don't roll that shoulder. Tuck underneath that belt bill, throw up through. Yeah. Yeah, so only lift that head enough to catch. Good. Yeah. Squeeze into lats a bit. Lats, 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 rock. Yeah, two more. Palm up. Palm to the ceiling. Yeah, rock that head back hard. Good, down man. Good. Fuck me. I don't know why it feels so difficult like that. Uh huh? It feels so difficult with no weight. <laughs> yeah. But you can see your, like, your natural thing is to get here and you want to go <clears throat> real quick, right? Just to like fucking get it up there. The more you stay under, the more we're going to grab, right? Just keeping that load. Yeah. It's hard, right? Because you have. You got super long arms for a guy your size. Yeah. Jordan said the same thing to me. Yeah, He's yeah. like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, it's like, you got a massive wingspan. So it's like, that's why it's hard for you to find your spots a lot of the time. It's easier for you to be out here. You have this frame framework of big arms, right? So getting you to be in here is, is foreign. Cause your body's like, we're stronger. Why the fuck aren't you using us, right? Why are you shutting yeah, us it, off? It, it literally feels like you can't, I can't fire. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like I've got, yeah, well, like, there's no horsepower. That's why I just find your, when you're laying here, just find where you're, where you, once you're like, as obviously I don't feel anything when I'm here. But as soon as I open up off my chest a bit, I start to feel the pull across and I move through that. So yours, my press might be wider to start than mine, but it's just finding that tension, that tension line and moving like around, right? What you said that was helpful was, uh, particularly on the left side, when you said about lats, as soon as my left side, I felt yeah, just tuck into that, that thing. it all like anchored in a bit more. Yeah, yeah. The thing is people who are great pressers, they're, they have great backs as well, right? So the more I can, I know how to lock down into my lat and just press straight lines. Cause this is, when I lock into lat, my press now is straight line. There's no arcing, there's no turning. If I'm into lat and I push out, I have to fall back. Cause yeah. I can't push lat here. It's impossible. I have to get away from it to extend, right? So it's like alligator arming everything. Just think I'm as tall as I can be in my body. 
all the time. I don't ever crumble. So my posture stays tall all the time. Even as I'm laying down. So I want opened up rib cage big time. I'm just relaxed here. You can wrap that thumb on this if you want. Yeah, just think that flat palm in there. Tuck into lats a bit. Squeeze that back, relax. Open up to tension. Rock in. Let's go. Yep. Just feel that pull across the pecs, just like a barbell coming at you. Fire. Yep. Underneath your dumbbell, straight up. Your head's gonna rock back, your chest's gonna lift up. Yeah. Lift that rib cage, push. So we don't wanna be in this like precarious position where we're like holding a weight above our head. So I'm just like here and I'm going like this, like, uh. It's like, I wanna feel almost like if I start here, I know, I know I'm on lat and I can push up through lat and then I roll back and extend up through. Yeah. So I'm rolling, firing. So it's my lat and my chest that roll back with my bar and then I fire it. Yeah. So think of it as a pullover with a tricep extension. So we can keep your power locked in your lat. So the arm's free to do its own work. So you're letting the elbow so move set, a bit. Sink this in a bit. Good, let this elbow break. Roll back behind the head. Extend up now. Yeah. So tuck into those lats. Fire, squeeze. Bury that chin, keep that head down. Press that head back all the time. Yeah. So fire from armpit, send up to elbow. Yeah, extend that hand. I think your chest is buried in that chin. You're giving yourself a double chin all the time. Good, lock out here, tuck elbows in tight, set shoulders down, off your forehead. So slowly to your forehead, extend up. Yep. Keep elbows tight. I'm with you. One more. Good, uh, good man. It's no, uh, it's very different, that, that, that almost like two-part movement. Yeah, yeah. Just think of sink, roll, fire. It's like I'm rolling, throwing something, right? Launch it away from you and catch it coming back. A lot of people think that their tricep like work is like these, like these extremes. Like it's like here and locked and here and locked. It's like my triceps gets the most work when it's moving. When my elbow is dropping and moving and I'm firing through my hand, I get more work in the meat of my tricep than I ever can doing this. Like getting here and going, oh, it's like, yeah, I also don't work my bicep like this because, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like these guys, like, they, they want to, like, come here and, like, on push downs and stuff and be, like, squeezing. It's like, because you, it's a sensation. So you're like, between sensation and stimulation. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, it's like, I feel my triceps. So, yeah, I feel my triceps doing this with nothing in my hand. Something like the retarded chest and fucking shit. Yeah, it's like, so that's a good question. With your training, the way you train people, do you do like consistently the same type of exercises and aim to get better at them or do you do more variety because then yeah, i mean it's the same i'm a big fan of certain exercises but sometimes you have to work with people's like if you came to me today and you were so fucking yeah yeah interior but I, mean, I mean like say like you worked with one person you'd focus more on a core group of exercises for a while rather than yeah like i'd, I'd to change all the time. I, there'd be like a core group of like what i think are good are good movers for each yeah. body part and like gonna elicit the better like full range of motion yeah and then we can like once you understand full range of motion on these these basic exercises they might need to be basic it's not like squat like this and this it's like hack squat pendulum squat whatever and it's like then we can move on to like like smaller ranges of motion because you understand you have to understand full range of motion before you can ever work with partials it's not the other way around it's yeah. not like i do partial squats and then all of a sudden i learn how to do no you're gonna panic because you've developed so many horrible ways of locking down that that bottom range of a, of a press or that bottom range of a squat or whatever is like unknown, uncharted territory for you. Your body's gonna freak out. So it's like, let's get you moving full ranges on everything. And then we can understand oh, like, oh, I wanna do tr like on this when you're rocking out and then we're off your face, right? A lot of people only come off here ever. But it's like, we're using that to burn you out. So we're going full range of motion on tricep and then rocking forward, right? But if the fucking full range sucked, we wouldn't do the price yeah, rest, yeah. right? It just depends on the person. Good. Like, triceps feel fit. Like, we did a lot of last set then. And I was like, the sensation where you're like, the weight's just going to come down. We only did only three sets, so. Holy fuck. To the point. Was this different than your regular? Uh, yeah, really, really different. So normally I would do a lot more straight sets, longer rest periods, and more like progressive overload, probably more of a British thing a lot of people do. Um, so this was very different and very quick, but 
like pump and volumization wise. I think it's probably more fun to train like this rather than doing straight heavy stuff. It's a bit boring and monotonous. I don't know if you'd agree with that. Like chest pump's good. I agree yeah. with that. <laughs> like ch chest and triceps feel like, I feel like I work out again now. Yeah. Well, the thing is like guys who train, they mix like this idea of powerlifting or just strength based training. When they come into bodybuilding, like bodybuilding is about volumizing the muscle. It's not necessarily, like you get stronger by happenstance, like you, you're just gonna get stronger. You're gonna get bigger, you're gonna get stronger. But these guys that come in and think, oh, it's like, I'm not getting bigger unless I'm getting stronger. Or they're mental. Well, it's only if you look at like powerlifters on the biggest people in the world. So yeah, like, like I've seen like, you've probably seen them too. Like I've seen like Richard Hawthorne, they call him the ant. He's 170 pounds, 60 pounds. I watched him pull eight for three. Like, why isn't he a, why isn't he Thor size? Doesn't it doesn't equate, right? The correlation between strength and size yeah. isn't linear. So it's like that's why people like they get into this. It's it's great to train for strength, and it's great all that stuff's great. I'm not saying it's not good. You know what I mean, it's not for something I've ever said. It's just that when people make the switch to bodybuilding, you have to just understand it's a different world. Just like if I said you said today, like I'm going to go powerlifting, and you were like a CrossFitter before or something, like it's, you got to get into that world. You can't do what works here and think it's gonna work there. It's gonna not gonna work out well, right? But it's, for some reason, they blended this world of like powerlifting and bodybuilding has now become the same thing. And it's like they're two different entities. Like they have crossover. Don't get me wrong, but like what we're trying to achieve in the gym, like this pump and this blood volume and like tearing down crazy amounts of muscle fiber, it's it's a completely different workout than a powerlifting workout, right? Well, if you look at it from a basic point of view, like time under tension it's like yeah, yeah. if you're doing fucking two sets of five reps yeah <laughs> how much tension is there like yeah exactly and your body really only like really only understands tension when it comes down to it it doesn't understand like oh this is 800 pounds on the bar i better it's like no that's just a shit ton of tension like oh my fucking god right but it also understands that over a longer period of time where you're unrelent you're unrelenting with the tension so it's like supersets little rest go 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 and it's not like the weights we're doing today are light. They're light, technically. But when you're doing them, are you being, oh, this is too light. Like, <laughs> it's like, no, man, my like, fucking, I'm, this is fucking, I'm failing on this it's weight, like right? It's like the 50 pound dumbbells is like, yeah. so it's like what I normally use. It's really. all relative, right? Yeah, so. We can't get into this whole mindset of like, because most guys who are like inex inexperienced, they'd be like, oh, I could do, I've done 85s before. And they're like, now I'm doing 50s, I fucking, I'm getting small. I feel like shit, I'm a loser. It's like, no, man, it's like, you're moving differently. It's like comparing sprinting to a marathon run. It's like completely different. So one of my favorite sayings, it's not like what you do, it's how you do it. So it's yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. you could, like the loads are relevant really. Yeah. As long as the pump's happening, who gives a shit? <laughs> End result. Yeah. Good job though, man. Cool, I man. appreciate Thank it. You. Thank yeah, you. Man.